You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you hear the confidence I speak with. And uh, someone wants to have a debate, let's sit down and start now. I dare you. But again, this is from the South Balcony. I come home and walk outside with my camera to overcast skies with some faint images you can barely see. And in 20, 30 minutes, look what happens to the skies. They open up and the angel dance and celebration starts again. Look at that. And this camera right now, again, pointing straight up right now. See what's above us? This camera I'm holding straight up above me. Okay. Going right on top of us here. And on every side, 360 degrees around us. <coughs> That's where that, I uh, call it the Independence Day mothership, tends to hang out, watching the entrance to the valley down there, the entrance to the New Holy City, I call it. And, uh, and there's actual pro actually prophecy in Revelation 21. Bad guys don't make it in here. Okay? So they better not even try. Wouldn't be good. So when I see this, folks, and it's not just today and yesterday. It's been going on for 90 days. Okay? I can't k I've got 300 gigabytes of videos and pictures. 10% of which is up on YouTube right now. Okay. It's kind of like I said in a post yesterday. Yeah, sure, you catch people here and there who've caught a glimpse of something on YouTube that looks that they put up on YouTube that may be prophetic. Sure. Well, then that that's just more validation for my conclusion that the second coming has happened per Matthew 24:30 and many other places in the Bible. But how many of those prophets, so to speak, posting on YouTube can boast the kind of constant, overwhelming number of scenery, scenes and images that I have? So that's why I'm dictating, kind of telling y'all what's going on here. I'm talking about the familiar patterns, what to start to recognize. I mean, go back and listen to your old Christmas stories. You know, angels we have heard on high, you know. You got dancing over Christ, praising, singing Him. Isn't that what the Christmas story and what's that Luke 1 to whatever and, um, and other scripture and tradition is about? And we talk about angels celebrating Christ's birth. Or is unve unveiling all through Christmas. I mean, we put angels on our Christmas tree. We sing carols about them. Ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what you're seeing going on before your very eyes. Okay, get it? Because if someone wants to tell me these are ordinary run of the mill clouds, I'll tell you, <laughs> then let's talk about who's the fucking crazy one, okay? Take a look in front of you. You think that's a normal cloud? The fuck do you think it is? Okay? So we have a sky full of angels dancing, putting on a show. Right on top of me, that's straight up with my camera right there, okay? Celebrating. This being, of course, the start of the Christmas season. Yeah, there was a ton of Christmas stuff in Walmart. We went there today. Um, talk about timing, divine timing. Yeah, we're going to get rid of I'm going to take care of Halloween. Real quick. We're going to take care of that. You know, we're going to start Christmas. I mean, who, who came up with that idea? Talk about stupidity. Retailers want to sell a bunch of shit and chocolates and shit like that, poisoning your kids. Look right here. So you say you believe in the Bible, you sing Christmas carols every year. If you're a 
good little Christian. You've paid, prayed the Lord's Prayer every night. What's that, 10,000 times? Every time he said that Lord's Prayer, okay? You know what you prayed as part of it? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your prayers have been answered. You should be joyous. Hey, look for it. Look right there. Straight above me. Who's that up there? Uh-huh. You want know, to start a debate? You know, I'm, if there's going to be a debate, uh, the one rule I set before is loser goes to the death penalty. Okay, I'll debate anyone anytime. Someone got the guts to take me up on that. And that will be God administering, deciding the winner and administering the punishment. Okay, those are my personal religious beliefs. I won't touch them. Yeah, someone can debate me all they want. I'll shake his hands, whatever. And we're, we're over, I'll go on, and what happens, happens. But boy, if I was in a, see a general public shoes and someone with John, this John's content, pedigree, proof, etc., came along. I'd really think twice before taking him on, okay? That's my view, okay? Cause, because I have a fear of God, the power of God. Someone once asked me something, John, are you afraid of anything? I said, yeah, one thing. The wrath of God. Which is why I will never, ever do anything to piss him off or break my commitment to him that I've made. At the time, this role, this anointed role, was laid out and became clear before me. Now, let's see. By the way, a New Testament, here's two clues on the old Bible, which was a crossword puzzle. You get it, you knuckleheads. Number one, pay way more prophecy, to, way more attention to the prophecy in the Old Testament than you may have otherwise. Number two, in the New Testament, pay attention to Matthew, John, 1 John, and Revelation. Those were the only two books written in the New Testament by eyewitnesses to Christ's ministry who actually knew what the fuck Christ said. Think about it. I found some useful content in you know, Mark and some things in Luke, you know, might be useful. For example, someone just called me crazy on the internet. <laughs> How many times I heard that bullshit? I responded to that post, by the way. But people say, oh, John Lee, he's crazy. He's lost it. Go back and read Mark 3, 21. What did they say about Christ last time when he started his ministry? Mark 3, 21. Of course, the Jews said, oh, he's crazy. He's lost his senses. Who is this guy? And in that response I put on the internet, I said, yeah, good. What's the diagnosis code? Since I've been diagnosed at length by the editor-in-chief of the DSM-IV diagnosis treatise that categorizes and names every mental illness in the book as having no serious mental illness except for bipolar 1-NOS, which in my case is triggered by a nerve damage condition from having been poisoned as many times as I was, which by the way fulfills another prophecy since the Apostle John was poisoned and left for dead once. That was on, I understand, the Isle of Patmos. I've, I've been told, I've learned that from reliable sources. I don't think you'll find that in the Bible, but it's, 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 there are extrinsic sources that I think will validate that. And don't forget, when a crazy or insane person looks at a sane person like me, what do they see? Aha, they see a crazy or insane person because the person they're looking at does not think like them. So they think this person thinks differently, so they think, oh, he must be crazy. Um, great images. Look how this is picked up. This is exciting to me. Oh, look at the little baby angels on top of the big ones here. Yeah, I'm probably the most diagnosed man in the history of the world by some of the best doctors in the world. 
including, of course, the editor-in-chief of the DSM-4 Diagno Diagnostic Treatise. Mm -hmm. So let's keep going. And those who actually take the time to read what I've written, 500 Biblical Prophecies Fulfilled, Old and New Testaments combined, between Sharice and I and the two of us. Okay, then how many other? 200, 500 extra biblical prophecies fulfilled. That's um, things that they fulfill another prophecy or they're sort of a miracle, but you won't find them in the four corners of the Bible. Okay? And look here. But look what you're seeing out here. Wow. Oh, look at this guy. Crazy like a fox. Is Sharice crazy? Is Sharon Abersia crazy, our publicist? Talk to Sharon. She actually read everything I've written. She and Sharice would both use words like brilliant beyond anything I've ever conceived of in my life or heard of. Like quantum levels brilliant than anything they've ever, any person they've ever known or been associated with. When you actually get to know me and read what I've written, folks. But boy, people like to pull up one little sound bite. What have I written? 5,000 pages of content? Oh, but people will go pull out one sentence from 5,000 pages and take it out of context and say, oh, look at this guy. Dumb fucks don't have the guts or patience to read the entire thing. Yeah. Oh, look here. Damn, this is good stuff today. Okay, now look, I'm up to 12 minutes. Sharon's again asked me to keep these videos shorter. So I'm going to stop and go to the other balcony now. And keep this going.